today today yep. is the absolute last downlink from ingenuity um so uh, pour a drink for the for ingenuity Man. uh this this afternoon is the last downlink wow so ingenuity. and and why is that the last downlink ingenuity. because there, there's no more vital data it, um really the rover's out of range right uh it's yeah it's going to be rovers out of range um you know they the ingenuity did not have direct orbit comms capability so it has to relay through the rover um rovers moving you know, either behind a hill or too far most likely you know obstructed by a hill or something like that okay. um, but they're calling today the official last downlink from ingenuity but it can still do a little bit of uh, data collection there even if it can't transmit it all right. I mean, it's it's a little bit limited. It, it's just the images. cameras face downward, yeah. so that's tough. Um, you know, the it, it's it's utility. It's utility like it, without being able to move is essentially a measure of solar radiation at that particular point. You know, we that's yeah. the best data we're getting is like how much I, energy are you collecting right here? I think the other data I heard was something about just like looking at the soil right beneath it and seeing how it might change because of wind and yeah. everything else. So that that's, would be that's it. So definitely it, true. It, it doesn't have a weather station built into it. it doesn't have a temperature pressure. No, or no. Like Does it have audio? It has an altimeter in it. Um, altimeter. But I think okay. it's, it's a laser altimeter. Um, oh, okay, so it's not the, a barometer. No, no. Uh, but it, it does have an know, audio, right? It does. No, no, no. There's no audio on. Okay, it. so where did we get that audio from? The, the audio I think that came from the rover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, what it does, what it can and has been doing for us, that's really powerful, is uh, because it's no longer flying and we don't have dust clearing events. Um, it gives us a good idea of the accumulatory nature of dust on solar arrays up there. Which has been super valuable data as we as we conceptualize for the future. Yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the it's. It, I think eventually the rover might come back into contact range with it, so it would be interesting to see if we come back in two years or so and it's still mm -hmm. alive. Um, that will be very very good data. Uh, but they're calling today the official um, last transmission. Wow. wow. So. Wow. That's a downer. Well, Thank you, Ben. That is a downer. <laughs> it's it's okay, okay, you know. Like, yeah. Um, if if we would have spent to keep it alive longer, uh, you know, designed to keep it alive longer, then it may not have made the mission because it was too expensive, and then we wouldn't be celebrating like the plucky little helicopter that could. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I, I, then, I think yeah. it, it was great. It was great for so, us. I I just wish that we would have a follow up. I, I feel I like we should be sending helicopters to, to Mars every two years. Yeah, There's I agree. Mm -hmm. No reason in my mind mm -hmm. that we as a, as a civilization aren't sending orbiters and rovers and helicopters to Mars every two years. Yeah. I agree. Right. Um, 